So the Gauteng Health Department has obtained an interdict preventing final year nursing students from continuing with their protest. Now the students have been demanding that they continue to get stipends between June and November even though some of them have actually completed their studies. But the department says it simply doesn't have the funds to accede to this demand. The Health and Allied Workers in Daba Trade Union is accusing the Gauteng Health MEC of abusing the courts and insisting that students' demands are justifiable. The union's Gauteng leader is Bafana Shabalala, who joins us now via our video link for more on this. Bafana, thanks for your time. Great to see you uh, and for having your take on this Monday morning. So I think there's a whole lot more to the story, right? There was contractual obligations from the health department to ensure that essentially you're taken care of after your studies and that hasn't happened which is why you're protesting uh, good morning ayanda good morning to your viewers and thank you for having us um this issue emanates from the contract that the students entered into with the department which said after they are training the department needs to take them for employment but now during their training a new issue was introduced by the regulatory body, the South African Nursing Council, the issue of the board exam, which was not there when this course started. So the department, through the principal of Gauteng College of Nursing, was represented in that uh, committee, which came about with the board exam. And in that committee, they committed to saying the board exam must be after students have trained, not looking into the fact that after they have trained, they need to sit for six months waiting for a board exam. Mm -hmm. That now the department is complaining to say they don't have money to fund. But when that program was implemented, they did not raise that issue. Hmm. So what are the students actually asking here for? Is it for stipends until those board exams are completed or stipends until there's actual placement at work? So students are, are requiring two things. They are requiring one, between now and November, between now and writing their board exams, they are, require, they are requesting that they be retained into the system, they assist un, uh, as students in the wards, and then once they have re written their licensure exam and they have passed, they are requesting that they be retained into the system. And both of these demands have not been met by the department. And, um, of course, that's resulted in the protests that we see take place. But I'm sure there must have been some kind of attempt to engage the department about this. Has their response flat out just been the fact that they can't afford it? The engagement started last year when I was elected the chairperson of Gauteng. I My first project was the R171 board exam issue. We are reaching to the MEC since from last year. We marched in March 27 to the MEC's office. We delivered a memorandum of demands. We've had several meetings now that the course is coming to an end, and all those engagements have been fruitless because the department is sending delegates to these meetings, delegates who come and say they cannot make decisions for the department. The person who can make the decision is the MEC, and the MEC is nowhere to be found. Hmm. Of course, like I'm no legal expert, but it sounds to me that this is something that you possibly could take to court as, as students yourselves. I mean, if you believe there was a very clear breach of contractual agreements on the part of the department, that's something I think a court of law would be willing to hear. Is that an option for you? Yes, that is an option. Now that the department has chosen to abuse the court and use money, uh, we have to do expenditure on legal expenses. We have also engaged our legal team. We have also, uh, on our desk, the legal team is working on taking the department to court. Yeah. Of course, that's not the only point of contention. There's also a, a disagreement much around how much this would actually cost the department itself. Um, in your statement, you say the department said it would cost 77 million rand, which you disagree with. You say it would cost a fraction of that, 10 million rand. How are you coming to your figure? So our, our figure was sitting at 7,000 per month for the next six months, multiplied by the number of students, which is 168. And as to how did the department get to the 77 million, it tells you exactly on how they calculate money when they do tenders. The reason that they claim that they don't have this money, it's because they, there are no kickbacks in this. No one in the department will benefit. This money will go straight into the accounts of students. And that is why they are claiming that they don't have money. And by the way, the MEC in the CS, in the DINOSA Nursing, International Nurses Day, she said, and we have that on record. She has an excess of 168 million, so she cannot claim that she cannot offer students a fraction of that.
Yeah. That interdict is still in place. Of course, you've got an option of um, pushing back against it legally. But what happens now, practically speaking? Are you going to continue with the protest? We have, we have, we have said to students, no retreat, no surrender. We are definitely going to fight this. We are going to fight this in the streets. We are going to fight this in the court of law. And above and beyond this, we are going to fight this government in 2024. 2024 is definitely our 1994. And as the youth, we need to stand up and vote for transformation. All right. Bafana Shabalala, thanks very much indeed for speaking to us. He, of course, is the chairperson of the um, Health and Allied Workers in Daba Trade Union, getting us their side of the story. I imagine the department would want to respond. But it's also worth saying this. We speak day in and day out about the need for capacity in our health system. It really boggles the mind how there are individuals who are willing to plug some of those holes, and now they're facing these kind of challenges. But it's a story, because of what's at stake, that we'll certainly continue to watch for you.